Hi everybody, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel and our new video series where we're taking the Riplash racer cars and we're painting them and we're racing them on the Riplash racer racetrack playset. This is one of the newest, this is one of the best playsets I got actually. The cars race down the track, go through the loop, there's an air gap here and they go right down the other side to the finish line and we see who wins as they come across the line here. Now some pretty cl close races so far. In our first race we painted uh, Lightning McQueen neon green and he won against regular Lightning. And then the next one we painted uh, number 95 Fabulous Lightning McQueen in the blue and yellow. And in our last video we painted the uh, Lightning McQueen zebra colors, black and white stripes. And we raced him and this Lightning McQueen beat him hands down. So I asked people what they want me to do and I didn't get too many requests. Uh, someone expects me to do another primer Lightning McQueen, which I can do anytime. I'm not going to do that because this was already done primer. Then I painted them all different colors, so once he's primed, I don't care. So what I have here, folks, I gotta do a bunch. Here, we have a bunch more cars. Here is Riplash Racer Funny Car Major. Okay, you see that? And what I'm gonna do today is take Lightning McQueen, and I'm gonna paint it yellow, same color as Funny Car Major, and I'm gonna put a big gray mark right there, and put a red spoiler, and we're gonna make this like Funny Car Lightning, and we're gonna race Funny Car Lightning against Funny Car Major. So let's get the paint out right now, and we'll paint this yellow. Okay, folks, so this is your first time here. What we're doing is we're taking cars from Pixar cars and we're painting them in different colors and different names. Here is Chick Hicks turned into one of the cars in the Demolition Derby. It's high impact, okay? So that gives you an idea. If you want to watch any of these videos, there's a button here you can click, takes right back to all our videos. And there is our paint uh, set. We're going to have uh, some yellow. Not much because it's. Uh, and by the way, I'm not doing a very good job with these cars. This isn't like painting something fancy like. Uh, the die cast cars it's just a little tiny um we're just making really quick really quick paint jobs i'm putting gray right here this is actually the paint i use for primer gray but uh, i'm going to put a spot of gray on the hood where the engine is so i'll just grab a brush right here and we're going to put a really quick coat of yellow on this guy and we're going to race him against funny car mater when the paint dries this won't take too long folks these are really quick videos and i hope you like the bonus video at the end i always throw a bonus video in of actual painting uh, one of the die casts uh, I get a lot of people liking those videos so I really th hope you like that if you have any more suggestions let me know um, I don't need to do a primer like I said lightning um, funny car because there's no need of it and these aren't that good looking guys I'm telling you I'm just slopping the paint on just to make just to have some fun I did all my die casts already really fancy the best thing to do look for example here is um, Chris Restopsky the Oh, official from Cars 3, that's actually Mater, so I did a pretty good job of those, so I'm just having some fun here, and I hope you guys are like watching them, because uh, they're quick videos, and there's nothing fancy about them, nothing fancy, and having a lot of fun. There. This is the yellow for Funny Car Lightning, I'm not going to worry too much about that, and I'm going to come back in a few minutes and put a big gray spot where the motor is, like just like Funny Car Mater, and then we're going to race them on the track, I'll show, I'll go through that in a few minutes. Okay, let's let this dry, come back and put the engine part on in the back red spoiler. Okay, everybody, that paint's pretty much dry, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add, uh, well, according to Funny Car Mater, there's a big gray engine here, so I'm just going to make, uh, this is not going to be very fancy, as I told you this already. The, these cars aren't made for being fancy, they're just made for fun, and we're going to race them in a little while. This is going to be pretend to be the engine, check that out, looks the same. And the back, there's kind of a red, uh, where'd the red paint go? Red spoiler right across here, we're going to make a big red design, just like that. Not much red paint left, but I'll do that there. So there is our Funny Car Mater, and our Funny Car Lightning McQueen, what do you think? Uh, now I'm going to set them up on the track. Let's move this out of the way and we'll set them up to race. Okay, here's our race track. There's Funny Car Mater. He's going to go in the spot there. And Funny Car Lightning. I think it looks pretty good, guys. Not bad for a, a quick paint job. And we got a riplash right here. It's one of these cords that goes right in. Through. Now, if you're not familiar with these here, riplash races, what they do is I pull this cord and the car spins a giant wheel on the back. Watch. And they race down the track and they go through the loop. So let's put them back in there and I'll have a, a real race, okay? First, we'll set them up here and then we'll have the race. Okay, we're all set to go. Uh, Funny Car Lightning McQueen's on the inside, Funny Car Mater's on the outside. We're gonna go down the track and we're gonna take a shot of the first the race going through the loop and then the finish line, okay? Let's get the camera set up on the tripod. Okay, here goes our first three, two, one. And that was an easy win for a Funny Car Lightning McQueen. Watch the Snow Blotion replay. Now we'll move the camera down to this end and we'll do it again. Three, two, one. And 
And once again, Funny Car Lightning McQueen beat uh, Funny Car Mater hands down, as you can easily see. Look, they crashed right here. Okay, let's do it one more time and see how it works out. But this time, Funny Car Mater's on the inside and Funny Car Lightning's on the outside. We'll see how that goes this time, guys. Okay, we're all set. Three, two, one. And it looks like Lightning McQueen, Funny Car Lightning beat Funny Car Mater every time. So there you have it guys, uh, we painted a lightning, uh, funny car colors, and he still beat Mater hands down. We have lots of more cars here to paint, uh, send me your suggestions in the comment section on what else you want me to do. I didn't paint any of my little micro drifters yet, and I'm not going to paint these little mini die casts, they are awesome, check it out. Um, there's Fabulous Lightning McQueen, but I also have Fabulous Lightning McQueen here, the die cast. I didn't actually open that yet because I'm going to do that in another video coming up soon folks. When I do the video, for Doc Hudson's surprise birthday party. All the cars are going to be painted the same color as Doc Hudson. This was supposed to be done today, but I'm not going to do it today. I'm saving that for another time. Um, I, hope you, I hope you keep coming back to watch. But in the meantime, thanks for watching the video today and stay tuned for the bonus video. Uh, I don't know what it is yet, but uh, stay tuned for the bonus and uh, let me know what you think of the bonus videos at the end of these all the time. It's just another video of me making one of these die casts. Well, check this out. Fabulous Miss Fritter, the school bus with boom. Thanks for watching folks and I hope you have a great day. Stay tuned. One person wanted me to paint Ringo as a bumblebee paint color. So I looked it up and sure enough I can do that. I'm gonna do him today, bumblebee. And one guy wants this guy in uh, John from Fast and Furious. So I'm gonna paint him jet black right now. And I'm gonna paint this guy yellow first and then put some black stripes on it as a bumblebee. Okay, so let's get our paint set up. Okay, the first one we're gonna paint is Wingo. So I have to get some yellow paint and some orange paint mixed together to give me a, a brighter, um, kind of a brighter yellow for the bumblebee color. Let's see. And I add a little bit of orange to it just to give it some color. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks like the color of a bumblebee. What do you think? Okay, let's take um, our beautiful Wingo here and paint them bumblebee yellow. See how that turns out. Gotta be very careful around the windows. I'll put his lights on later, his headlights. I'll paint them on gray. Cover the whole car in bumblebee color. And then we'll come back and put the black stripes on. I may have to let this dry, put an extra coat on. So if you're following along, you know we make lots of these videos and they're very successful. People love them. So I, I started listing them on eBay. If you want to buy them, just go to the link down there and you can buy the cars. Um, they're one of a kind, obviously and they belong to this video, the video series, so you'll always have a, a record of it uh, being made. They're not going anywhere. Okay, now the back. Let's see if I can get the whole wing painted. This is a pretty good recommendation. Thanks to the guy who recommended it. Um, I appreciate that. He said, do a wingo and bumblebee. I said, what's bumblebee? So I looked it up and sure enough, there's an actually car color bumblebee. Okay, I'm gonna leave this dry. And we'll come back when it's dry and put another coat on. See if I can brighten it up a little bit, okay? Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes, put another coat on. Okay, that's almost dry. And what I did was I mixed up a little more paint. Now this is a bit too orangey for me, so I mixed up some, a little blend of yellow and orange with a little tiny speck of black. Just to give me this nice yellow color that looks more like a bumblebee, in my opinion. I'm not sure how it's gonna look at home on the video, but this, to me, looks a bit more yellowish than the orange color I put on the first time. Okay, so let's try the second coat and see how it goes on. Looking good so far. I like using these vice grips to hold the car, that way my fingers don't get too covered with paint. If you're watching these videos, you see sometimes my fingers are a lot, you know, kind of messy from all this painting, but it washes off, it's just water paint, so it doesn't hurt. Some of the cars, like I said, are already listed on eBay. Only about four or five of them so far. So I'll probably, I'll probably go six there, gold, Gold colored um, Fred is there now, and Primer McQueen. They're expensive, but there's only one of a kind. If you're interested, just buy one or buy the whole bunch if you want to. It's quite a collection. Actually, I'm trying to kind of hoping to keep them. So if somebody wants it, they can have them, but if they don't want them, just leave them there and I'll keep them myself because I'll use them in other videos. It's not hard to make up stories for these cars. I'm still planning on or counting on a Cars 4 coming out in a few years' time, so. You keep an eye out for that preview. I'm sure Lightning McQueen will be there somehow, whether it'll be the race team leader for Cruiser Mirrors, or he'll be all fixed up like Jackson Storm with the new, new um, style racer, high tech, 
wind tunnel trained and he'll be just as good as Jackson Storm and who knows even though they said he's getting kind of old I don't want to see lightning disappear because he's such a good uh, everyone loves lightning McQueen this looks better folks I may have to come back down in a little while put a third coat on but this came really nice there that looks pretty good a bit so I'll let it dry for a while and put another coat on to make it nice and bumblebee color okay that's been a while I know what I'm gonna put another coat on just to see how it turns out this bumblebee has to be nice bright yellow I have a little bit of paint left over there so hopefully it covers it pretty nice and it is covering it really nice I hope it's uh, exactly what the guy wanted when he said bumblebee make sure if you're watching this video you know who you are just uh, send a comment and say thanks because uh, I enjoyed making it too and I hope it's exactly what you requested I'm getting I'm trying to get a lot of the requests out people are requesting all sorts um, of different cars and some I can do some I can't the other car I just mentioned a minute ago I said John from the Fast and Furious Dom from the Fast and Furious it's gonna be the next one I'm gonna do as soon as I get this guy let him dry then I'll paint it on jet black so this this is covering really good third coat I'm not sure I might paint the top of the, I might paint the spoiler black um, I'm not sure I'll have to decide in a few minutes time when this paint dries and then I'll put black stripes on the hood and one stripe down the back I hope that's what they want I'm not sure yet I'll look it up again well there and that's all I'm putting on that guy this is so far bumblebee wingo good choice I'll come back and put the uh, the stripes on when this dries really good okay guys while Wingo is drying with his yellow paint I'm gonna get the black paint and put the first coat on Dom which is actually snot rod from Fast and Furious let's get the paint set up now okay this is just gloss black so this should be pretty easy there's lots of paint there like I said these are the hobby paint you pick up at the hobby store They're very cheap and they wash and clean up pretty easily so here we're gonna start painting snot rod black now somebody suggested this a long time ago I didn't know who Dom was because I, don't, I didn't watch that show so if I screw up make sure you correct me in the comment section because I don't quite know who the cars are in the Fast and Furious but you guys obviously watch them all and I think I'll paint the whole front black because it's probably a blacked out charger I don't know what snot rod is but that is coming really nice folks I gotta admit already I love the black color good suggestion folks I'm gonna leave the tail lights red if I can get away with it pull that off I'll be laughing okay oh yeah it's gonna be tight yeah and the license plate I'll leave that hopefully not painted and I'll put a little black strip right along here Whoop. oh I just almost took the whole red light out but I'll leave it on just to get there see it okay good I'm gonna leave the back alone okay now the sides I'll probably put two coats on this too I'm not quite sure I'll leave this in for a while but it looks really black now so it looks nice I'm not gonna touch the engine because the engine's awesome. It's a big, big block with the supercharger on top. It's huge. Probably has over 600 horsepower. I'm not sure. You guys probably know the answer to that, not me. How many horsepower does Dom's charger have? Look it up and put it in the comment section because I do read the comments, as you know, and I try to answer most of the comments. Some of them I don't because uh, they don't say anything. They just little comments. Some I delete because some people get mad at the what I'm doing. One guy was really mad I didn't paint the car he wanted, so I'm sorry about that, buddy. But I can only do what I can do. And let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. Another good suggestion. This is it. All right, thanks very much for suggesting I do this car black because I had no idea what to do with it. I left all the uh, Lincoln Road hazards. They're all primed a few weeks ago now. And I didn't do anything with them. But I might list this one on eBay too. Um, it's just as easy to put on eBay than to have people ask me if I'm selling it or not, so if you want to buy it, it's right there. Uh, the link will be down below too, you can find it looking under sellers, other options, other auctions I mean, you can find it there. I got, I think there's six there now, like I said before, so, looks pretty good folks. Just left a little bit left of the engine hood now, and I'll be done with the first coat. And it's going to be tight right here. squeeze right in there there wow first coat 
glass black. Let's leave that dry and I'll put the black stripes on Wingo now to make the bumblebee look. Okay, here goes. This, like I said, I hope it's what you wanted. I don't exactly know what to do more. Oh, I'm gonna put stripes down the roof too. Right down here. Look. Well, I could have done a better job of that, but I don't know how I can correct it now, that's for sure. It's doing. Well, I'm gonna leave that. Um, I'll do a tailpipe too, black. I'm going to leave that just like it there. This is Bumblebee Wingo. I'm going to leave him alone and we'll come back and put another coat on, on Dom. Okay, it's kind of dry now. i got to admit, I'm not very happy with how Bumblebee turned out with the black and the yellow. I like the yellow color, but uh, if you want me to repaint it, I'll start from scratch. But uh, back to um, the Charger, I'm going to put a little bit of black, a little more black just to gloss it up a little bit more. And that'll be it. Okay, folks, that's what I'm going to do today is put them out. Um, probably put them on eBay, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Um, I'll get a few pictures of these right now. Hang on a sec. Um, please leave your comments in the comment section. And let me know what you think of these guys. Actually, this guy, I think, came better. Uh, Bumblebee kind of screwed up. So, thanks again, folks. Thanks for watching, and keep your suggestions and comments coming. I really appreciate it, and have a great day.